ever wake up from a really, really vivid dream and it all just seems a little bit too real? Hey guys, my name is Codename Big Bear or Stuart. If you want to call me by my first name, welcome to the Bear's Den. Today's game we're going to talk about is Red Bows. came out in January, January 17th, 2020. Uh, I actually picked it up on that day, just finding it on the e-store on on a switch for about five pounds and uh, and I was really surprised about this really great little narrative game and um, basically play a character known as Ro. She's just a young girl, wakes up in her bed, goes around the house having a look around, goes through the back door, all of a sudden completely new world. Uh, it's, it's a really spooky little game um, but it's also one that has some heart-wrenching stories and um, Honestly, the stories are the main drive of this game. If you're looking for gameplay, it's very, very simple. You walk around, you pick up items, and you talk to characters, and you interact with them certain ways. There's many different endings as well. There's about three, four different endings that I know of within this game as well, um, depending on what you do and so things as well. Uh, but this uh, this game touches on some really dark themes. It touches on suicide. It touches on loss. It touches on essentially torture as well. And really horrible things like I said um, but I'm, I'm just going to talk about the first kind of area really I will be showing some images later on in the game but there'll be nothing spoilery in that as well because I don't want to ruin the game for anybody as I said but the first uh, the first part of the game you end up on this road and you're walking up and you see this character is at the end of this road it seems to be broken distant and all of a sudden this huge old long neck comes out and starts talking to you oh that's a light bulb starts talking to you and you're like, whoa, what's going on? You, your character's talking away and you, you kind of get this conversation. You find out that this character is watching lost souls and feasts on those to survive. But then you find out there's another character nearby that absolutely detests this character who seems pretty, pretty friendly, to be honest, even though feasts on lost souls. But there's another one that absolutely detests them completely. So you go and talk to that person go from there. When you get to that house though, you are treated with, uh, well, treated with the sight of a hanging person, which is not pleasant at all. Um, and you talk to that person and go from there. Now, that's about as far as I'm going to go with story and what you do and everything else, because it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the story, the game itself, is actually probably completed in less than an hour. In fact, I know you can complete it in less than an hour. Once I completed it the first time around and I took my time with it, I just quickly ran through it to see what a different ending would be. Um, but that's not anything against the game at all because these stories, these characters and the way you interact are so intriguing and it really feels like the developers put all of their heart and soul, maybe something had happened to them so they, they kind of just wanted to translate it into this game as like a, as don't worry guys, you're not alone type thing, there's other ways around it, you can do certain things that way and it just, it really was just a touching, touching story which is spooky elements all the way through it. The music was very spooky itself, uh, you know, there's nice little things that just kind of stuck in your head a, a little bit here and there but admittedly I didn't really listen to the music all that much because I was playing it on, on portable in a public space and I didn't have my headphones so sadly I can't talk much more on that one I do apologize for that um, but the script in, in this game is very very lovely uh, yeah I say lovely again with this horrible theme it's got throughout um, it, the scripting is just really good you you kind of you're very much on Rose's side when it comes to meeting these characters and you want to make sure everyone's okay even though they're kind of creepy looking um so with that i mean as i said the game's very short uh it, it's it's super short i've, I've completed maybe three times in less than a day and to be honest I'm not using that to take away from this game at all. Just be aware that when you get this game, it is very short. Uh, but because of the simple nature of it, because of what was going on, I honestly felt like I was about to well up at one point. I don't get emotional for games or films or anything like that at all, but I really was like, oh God, oh that's horrible, oh no. I was really genuinely worried about these characters. Uh, and for that, I, it just had a, a nice little gaming impact on me, I suppose. Um, Ah oh, no! Oh no! My copy of Tetris fell on my tea. Well, that ruined the flow of the video. So 
I can't remember where I was, the tragedy just happened with my Tetris, co Tetris cartridge. And uh, I'll never be having tea up in this room again, that's really annoying. So, Red Bow is just a genuinely sweet game, and I urge people to play it if they want a, a story. If they want a story-driven game where you don't have to do much, you can just shut your head, shut your head off a little bit and, and focus in on what you're playing. Uh, you meet some really wonderful weird characters throughout, and it's really cool. Oh, the, the artwork in this game? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Pixel art is just, it's so good looking. It, it, the atmosphere in this game works perfectly. They, the, the developers knew their limitations or they knew what they could do and they really went for it. And you got some amazing lighting in this game. You got some amazing character models. Um, you know, the, ca the character, the main character herself, Ro, is just a sweet little girl with a big old red bow on her head. And then you meet, like I say, long neck, <laughs> long necked muck daddy to the long legged mac daddy um definitely not their name uh then you meet, then you meet the um the long necked demon person which i can't remember the name of at all to save my life uh and the other characters around with you just the environments in this game are, are honestly just beautiful the first major environment you get to reminds me of silent hill the next one it just reminds me of maybe resident evil 2 with the, with the shop scenes uh, because you kind of set a shop and, and you get you get the idea you know it reminds you of certain things throughout and this game for me this is getting uh it's getting high high praise and to be honest it's gonna get an eight out of ten for me it's a genuinely really beautiful game uh with loads of heart and so on when i was playing i honestly felt again that the developers may have had something happen to them and they just poured their everything into it and it shows it really does if you haven't played this game play this game but again be aware it is very short so that in mind guys have yourself a nice day and uh don't forget to be nice to each other yeah as you can see guys tetris is working fine hooray